Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing something slightly different. Today this video is gonna be all about DistroKid. I'm gonna show you guys how you can upload your music through DistroKid and get your music on all the streaming platforms, all your favorite platforms, iTunes, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, TikTok, you name it. You can get all your music on there for a small price, you know, for a really small price. Um, I'm gonna talk about that because this is something we haven't discussed and um, let's, uh, let's discuss that today. A lot of you guys that watch my YouTube videos are music producers and we get some rappers in there and we get some singers as well. Now, some of you might know how to distribute your music and some of you might not know how to distribute your music. So basically to distribute your music, you have to go through a distribution service. They act like the middleman between you and all the streaming services and they get your music on the platforms for you. There's loads of platforms. Um, some I've used include TuneCore, a platform called Amuse, you can distribute your music or C CD Baby, for instance. Today, I'm specifically gonna be talking about DistroKid because on DistroKid, they offer a really good deal, which I think everyone needs to know about. A lot of the distribution companies will charge you to distribute your music, to get your music out on all the platforms, and they'll charge you per single, or they'll charge you per album, and that will be a yearly upfront cost. So let's just use an example. A streaming, distrib um, a distribution company might charge you $20 a year to upload an album or upload a single and once a year you pay that money then once you've paid that money all the streaming streaming revenue is yours some of these platforms will um, not only charge you a fee but they also take a percentage what I think is quite cool about DistroKid is it's a subscription service so you pay $20 for the whole year and you can upload as much music as you like and you keep all the revenue that you have gained from the streams coming through. Now, I think that's a pretty good deal. And that's just one of the deals. That's for the general musician plan, but we have, there's a, a musician plus. It's so hot in here. Sorry, I need to just take a. So with Justo Kids, you can pay for the normal, the, the basic musician plan, which is $19.99 a year, and you can upload as much music as you like. There's also a Musician Plus option, which allows you to upload for two different artists per year, unlimited amount of songs. There's also some other little perks there as well. The main thing is that you can upload for two people and that is for $35.99 a year. You then keep all the revenue that you make from the streams, which I think is pretty awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's a pretty good um, little thing there. They also have a label option, which is $79.99 per year, and you can upload for five plus artists a year. Again, why don't I have a record label? Why don't I have a record label that I've got like 10 artists on? I mean, I mean, your girl does stuff, but do you know what I mean? Deal. Not only do you get a, a cheap deal for the year, but actually I've got a discount link. If you follow the link in my description, you get an extra 7% so if that's something you're interested in, do your research, research all your platforms, all the um, distribution services. And if you decide you wanna go through DistroKid, I've got a link in my description and you can go through there and get yourself 7% off. When you upload your music on DistroKid, I'm gonna show you how you can upload your music, but it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple and you can have your music live within two weeks. People normally aim to have their music set up a month before, but I do think it's really cool that they can get your music up within two weeks super quick and Apple Music and Spotify generally quite quick but it is those are the ones that you want to be quick because everyone wants their music on Apple Music and Spotify iTunes you know those are the main ones we want to deal with here another feature of DistroKid that I think is really cool is they have a vault now this is a free service that they offer but it actually backs up all the music that you put on there so you're not going to lose your music I think that is super cool because I've never seen that on any other distribution service before it's like you upload the music and it's just there but it's not actually backed up the files are not actually backed up so I'm not poo-pooing any other distribution services, but I do think that that's a pretty cool feature to have because I might have uploaded something 10 years ago and my computer stopped working and now I've got a backup. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that is pretty cool. Another service that I think is really cool about DistroKid is that you can upload a single and 
you can pay an extra $29. They have all these additional add-ons that you can add and one of them is you can pay an extra $29 and that means it's called Leave a Legacy. Now Leave a Legacy means that if you upload your music and you die, no, I, I'm not saying, I don't want anyone to die, but I'm just saying if you uploaded your music and then you decided you wanted to leave DistroKid and go through a different distribution platform, if you pay this $29, they will never stop streaming that music. They will never stop distributing that music for you. It's always going to be there distributed through DistroKid and you can then move on to another platform, but those that old music will still be running. If you die, that music will keep on being there available for people to stream forever forever another cool feature of this show kid that i think is really good is that it can um generate smart links for you it's actually called hyper follow and a hyper follow link that you can create through distro kid puts all the streaming platforms on a special link and when people click in your instagram bio they can click which streaming service they use because you know you might not just want to put Spotify in your bio. You might not just want to put Spotify. You might not want to just put Apple Music in your bio. You can actually have a hyper follow link and that link will take the person to a page and that page will show them which option they would like to click and they can go from there. We've all got to get our coins. So if you guys are thinking about distribute, distributing and making some money on your beats or your music, like, what are you waiting for when you can pay 20 pounds, $20 a year? I mean, what is that in pounds? $20 a year, what's that in pounds? And you can you can upload unlimited beats. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm doing because we all know I make a beat every single week for YouTube. Those beats, if I put those onto DistroKid, I have loads of music online at the moment. So I definitely think this is something I'm gonna um, start doing more often because I have the option to do it and I can. So why not? Do you know what I mean? It makes sense. Yeah, something else I think that's pretty cool is that you can credit all the people on your tracks. I mean, I don't know if anyone else does this. I always do this because obviously I'm a music producer. So when I go onto Spotify and I listen to a song that I like, I click on the credits to see who was involved in the production of that track, the mixing, the mastering, who made the beat. With DistroKid, you can actually put in the credits um, and put those things there. So when they click onto Spotify or Apple Music or whatever, and they click on credits, all those people will be credited and you'll see that on the track. So I think that's a pretty cool feature to have. I don't know if everyone, if all the other distribution um, platforms offer that, but this is what they do offer. So I do think that that's really cool. What I'm gonna do now is actually take you through DistroKid and show you how you can upload your music. It's so simple. I'm just gonna take you through the page. It's so simple. It's like bish bash bosh and you've got music online. Honestly. Okay, so we're logged in. And as you can see, these are the different plans that you can have here. So you can have your basic, I said this earlier, your basic musician, musician plus, label, etc., etc. And so let's click on upload and let's just pretend we're gonna upload to music. Let's just pretend your girl's finally gonna upload a beat tape because she always says she's gonna do it, but she never actually does it because what she likes to do is procrastinate and just put music on YouTube, making beats. Anyway, so here you go. We start off with the up, this is the upload music page. Spotify, Apple Music, blah, blah, blah. All the streaming sites, we've got that there. Number of songs you wanna upload. Let's pretend we're uploading a single previously released. No, let's put my artist name, Shomake. So searching. It says Spotify already has one artist name, Shomake. Yes, that's me. Um, so what you wanna say is that's me. And that's already linked. Um, same here, it can see that I'm already on Apple Music as well, so we're already linked in. So basically when you upload the music, it's gonna go straight to your Spotify artist page or straight to your Apple Music artist page, which is amazing. So release date, you can see that the release date is just set to today, but whatever, we'll just keep like that because I'm not really uploading some music. You upload your album cover, it tells you all the specs there that you need to upload it as um track blah, blah blah it tells you how you need to format the title of the name so you have to just follow those guidelines because some distribution platforms they don't like it when you have like loads of capital letters lowercase symbols blah blah blah, blah. if you've got a feature artist you want it to look correct so it tells you what to do there audio file these are the options wav is obviously the best option guys go for a wav file 
because WAV is the best. It's the best quality. You've got all these options here. Have you got explicit lyrics? Is this a radio edit? Is this an instrumental? Now, I think like as a music producer, if you're uploading an instrumental, what makes Just Joking pretty cool is that you can claim YouTube money from putting your beat up. So let's say you put your beat up to distribute and someone then uses that beat on a YouTube video. You've got an option here where you can add $4.95 and tw that would and plus 20 percent they will take from it but they will collect that money from you so if somebody rips your instrumental and decides they want to put it on youtube you're still going to collect the money which i think is a pretty cool feature to have we've got a store maximizer option which obviously a store maximizer option is you've uploaded your music it's on spotify apple music and blah 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 but then next year we get a new um platform called yellow elephants that decides they want to distribute music if you've got the store maximizer option it will automatically renew your music and put it onto their platform so you have that option you have the option for shazam which i also think is a pretty cool feature to have because if somebody wants to know whose beat that is if somebody wants to know whose track that is they can just pull out their phone shazam it and then bang they've got it saved on their phone this is the leave a legacy option that i was talking about here DistroKid won't delete the single from stores due to lapsed DistroKid membership. For example, if your credit card is in decline, is declined, you always choose to delete any time or not. Um, you will continue to accrue 100% of the royalties as normal. Leave a legacy for future generations. So let's let me see if I can show you guys the vault option more. Right. So hyperfollow. We've created a hyperfollow page for each of your releases. So if I, you can't see it here, I'll show you an example. If I upload some music, this is the page you go to when you want to make your hyperfollow link, which I think is cool. You have all these, um, look, a meme video generator. I mean, look, free short videos you can make. I think this is pretty cool. Make one of your songs. This is the Marcel generator. Marcel, where are you going with that disc? Yeah, so I think that's pretty cool. Look, you've got all these free options here. Uh, we've got a video generator here. Lyrics, your lyrics and services. Distro lock, protect your music from unauthorized release. Lock down your music, free sign up. How it works, upload your music for free. Upload your original songs to distro lock or just send them an acoustic fingerprint. We secure the fingerprint. We note that the audio is locked. When any music services ask, only you can unlock it when protected. Like they have some pretty cool options here. And I think if you're an independent artist or an independent music producer, these are things that you want to have. Because if you're not part of a record label, there might be things you're not really sure about. You can always go on Google and look these things up. But I think that these are for a startup, for somebody that's just doing things by themselves in in the house, just like me, um, then I think that's pretty cool here. Yeah, so this is where the vault is. You click on vault and that's gonna show that's gonna show you all the music that you've ever uploaded and that is gonna save that there in the vault. I think that's pretty cool. To be honest, I'm really, really quite impressed with what I've seen here. Um select through PayPal, you can pay through PayPal. Honestly, like I think I'm really quite um impressed. So I've just clicked on Teams and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see this feature before. And it says automated payments to everyone on your team. So automatically route any payments of earnings from any track to anyone. As your collaborators, producers, bandmates, managers, and more will pay them directly so you don't have to think about it. This is free for all DistroKid members, zero commission. You can edit teams and percentages anytime. Easy setup so you can focus on making music and leave the accounting to us. If you add non DistroKid members to a team, that's fine. A 50% discount coupon will instantly be email will be instantly emailed to them so the sounds of it, it sounds like somebody needs to be on distro kid to have that it's it's free for distro kid members so let's say you just you have made an album with somebody else that also has distro kid and they pay the $19.99 a month the percentages for the money for the payments will go straight to them I think that's a really good option because I don't know about anyone else like I've worked like I work with um, music things and accounts and stuff and having to work out who gets what at the end of the month is can be a pain in the ass and the fact that you get that here 
mind blowing anyway guys thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed for anyone that doesn't know how to distribute their music they know now this is one of the options if you are thinking about distributing your music please do all your research go online and look at all the options you have i do think with distrokid though like to keep 100 percent royalties and, and upload as much music as you want for a subscription fee um, i think that's pretty good and some of the add-on features that they have are also really good as well i mean having a vault where you can save all your music that's pretty cool and being able to just like for the rest of your life have music there for a one-off fee if you decide to leave DistroKid as well you're not tied down to them so I also think that that's a really really good option um, I'm in the UK so I mean $19.99 a month is not going to be as much as that if you're in the if you're paying in the pound so that's also something to take into consideration when you are um, thinking about um, distributing your music for people to stream so yeah maybe i should just start uploading some music stop procrastinating and actually like make like a beat tape or something and upload that but maybe one day you know i just like just just want to be me i'm not getting involved you know <laughs> but yeah i hope you like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one